Hello, dear friends. Welcome to our channel, Non-Universal Beliefs. Let's get started with our today's topic. The P versus NP problem. This is an unsolved mystery of all time. Let's try to understand what is this P versus NP problem with an example. Consider a mathematical problem, n power 2, here, even if we do not know the value of n, we are pretty sure that it can be solved in just a single step. That is, n multiplied by n, and, similarly, for n power 3, it can be solved in two steps, that is, n multiplied by n, and, the resultant, is again multiplied by n hence, we can say that we know the total time or steps required to solve this problem. So, these kind of problems are categorized as p-type of problem, where p stands for polynomial time problems, for which we can easily determine the time required to solve it. On contrary to that, consider another mathematical problem, 2 power n, here, we cannot determine the total time, or, the number of steps required to solve this problem, because, here, we don't know, the value of n. Hence, these kind of problems are categorized as NP type of problem, where NP stands for, non-deterministic polynomial time problem, for which, we cannot determine the exact amount of time, required to solve it. Since, for P type of problems, the total number of steps required to solve it, can be easily determined. So, let's shift our complete focus on finding, more about, NP type of problems. In our cosmos, we have, several non-deterministic polynomial time problems, for example, the first one is, the total number of galaxies in our universe. The second one is, the total number of stars present in our Milky Way galaxy. The third one is, how this universe is expanding, and so on. Now, coming to our planet Earth. We have several other NP type of problems, for example, to find out the total volume of ocean, in a definite amount of time, with complete accuracy. Another example of an NP problem is to find out what is inside the core of Earth or any other planets. Regarding our moon, there has always been a mystery for us. The formation of moon is still unknown to us and it is categorized as another NP type of problem. There are few life critical NP type of problems if solved, that means if P gets equals NP, then it can help in saving human lives. Curing a cancer disease. If P gets equal to NP, then, we would be able to find out the exact shape of protein that would inhibit cancer cells and prevent healthy cells, thereby saving humans from cancer disease. Also, protecting ourselves from viruses. If we are able to find out how virus mutates and what all possible shapes it can take, then, it would be easy for us to prepare a vaccine which can protect us from any kind or shape of viruses in future. Sometimes, the problems we are thinking to solve are not the real problems, but an illusion, the problems which we think as a non-deterministic polynomial time problem may not necessarily be an actual non-deterministic polynomial time problem. Sorting, it is to arrange number of elements in a specific order. Sorting of numbers can be done in 100 steps or it may 1000 steps. It depends on the algorithm we have used to sort it. Let's suppose, in the year 2000, we have discovered a formula which can sort n numbers in 1000 steps, and later, in the year 2021 we have discovered another formula which can sort n numbers in just 100 steps. So, to say that sorting is an NP problem is definitely wrong. Since, we have not discovered a solution to this problem, that does not mean that we can term it as an NP problem. Now, maybe, in the future in 2050, it would be possible that the sorting of same n numbers can be done in just 50 steps by using an even more efficient algorithm, so, that means, we would now be able to determine the exact steps required to sort n numbers. Hence, we cannot say that sorting is a real NP problem until we don't know the real truth. So, sorting is an actual polynomial time problem, but, for humans, it will still be a non-deterministic polynomial time problem, since, we are not so enlightened, and, we are unaware of the real facts, which are hidden inside our universe. Now, coming to the problem, is 2 power n, is a non-deterministic polynomial time problem. Let's first prove why it is a real non-deterministic polynomial time problem. Since we never know what would be the value of n so, it is hard to determine the number of steps or the total amount of time requires to calculate this. One more example lies in the cosmos, is the number of stars present in our universe, so, to solve this problem. We just do not need a strong algorithm, but, primarily, we need to decode the pattern, the way universe is expanding, and the stars are forming. So, to decode this is definitely beyond our capabilities. 
We can never decode this pattern because we can never predict the future based on the past events. All the future events are going to be so random which cannot be solved by any kind of algorithms. Hence, solving a real NP problem is like you are predicting an accurate future, which is just next to impossible. So, finally, let's come to the point why a real NP problem can never be solved. I know, it sounds depressing, but the bitter truth is better than the sweetest lie. So, the real, non-deterministic polynomial time problems can never be solved in a definite time, or number of steps, or, say forever. Because, we can never know in reality. What is that infinite thing, which is beyond our vision, even though, we use a mechanism, to find it out, what is that infinite thing, as an observer, it will be impossible to actually experience that, and that infinite or unknown thing, will always be, beyond our capabilities, and also our imagination. Looking at the current situation, it will be impossible to make p equals to np ever. Having said that, let's finish our today's topic, p versus np problem. Thank you for watching this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Goodbye and take care.